Hey yo together and very welcome to the StarCraft 2 Crazy Replays today on Barney Research Station with another TVZ. And this time it's Master League versus Master League, so I master, my opponent is master, should be a good game. Let's start with the introduction, spawning at the 6 o'clock position, or the bottom center position of Vani Research Station. We got the Red Zerg, Dreadlord, not Dreadlock, Dreadlord. And his opponent, me, spawning at the opposite position, the top center position of Vani Research Station, the Blue Terran, Alex Usher. Woo! Hi! And this is another TVC, so we will see how this turns out. Uh, could be interesting. I guess it is an interesting game in some aspect, otherwise I wouldn't have flagged it as um, crazy replay. We got a spawning pool. A 10? Whoa, 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 slow down. A 10 pool. There is a guy who uh, on, on Varney Research Station who is 10 pooling? What? what? Okay, I don't need to understand this. Oh, we learned something there. If a drone goes in with minerals into a building and morphs into a building and you cancel it, it still holds its minerals. Ha! <laughs> cool. The more you know, the more you know. So, uh, extracted trick there and we got a spawning pool. So I guess there are some circlings on the way. Four so far. Just four six. Okay, there we go. But, I don't know why would you ten pool a Terran on Vani Research Station. It could make sense on any other map where the Terran hasn't a in-base natural, but... Okay. We will see. Uh, we will see. I have no clue why he would do that. It, it, okay, he's expanding at the third base location, which is fine. You can definitely do that. As Zerg, I guess I would do that as well, because Normally it can be difficult to take a third base. And if you have a third base pocket like in your main base, so it's it's safe to take a third right there. You can do that. Uh, go for it. Also it helps spreading your creep earlier. So that's that's also pretty damn good. And he's just waiting. He goes in and parks those circling stairs. That's strange. Those circlings did nothing for him so far. On the other hand, I'm taking an expansion. I will scout what's going on. He got an overlord right there. And you will see that I'm taking that I'm building the factory. Yeah, Reaper's just scouting, sees no gas taken, no third base. Uh, so I don't know, I don't really know what's that all about. The Reaper coming back? No, he's not. There's the reactor. Uh, there's the third base. Okay, really interesting build, I have to say. Uh, I mean, the Reaper is tickling this hatchery, that's not too big of a deal. Those circlings, what are the, what's, what's the purpose of those circlings? The Queen is coming down. Mm, will take some damage, the circlings are moving. A little bit closer. Oh, this queen is taking a lot of damage. Now imagine three reaper. Three reaper definitely can take out a queen there. Uh, nice damage. Yes, the lift off. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, that's so smart. The whole build just to take out the reactor. Um, yeah, I don't. Okay. If you get some SCV kills, that would be even better. One, two, three, four, six, seven, I can't count. Seven SCV kills. That's good. Denies the third base, gets a good scout off. Uh, cancels the reactor, also the double helium product. That's nice. Though, uh, yeah, I, I like that. So this this build, if you're a Zerg player, or if you want to switch to Zerg, try this. But he will lose this Overlord now. But that's fine, I guess. That's fine. Oh no, he will be supply cap uh, for quite a time. Not too long, but a little bit. For like 10 seconds or so. Okay. 
Mm, but I got triple mule. On the other hand, his third base was really early. Uh, economic wise, I would say it's quite even. So everything is open. He's getting the roach worm, which is fine. So with that, he can deal with the hellions. Uh, the Benji, of course, now late as hell as well. Late as hell as well. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Um, nice. That that's it about with the creep. I told you. He's spreading out the creep, and this creep can expand so crazy. But the Hellions and the Reaper are coming to deny that as best as possible. Ooh, don't go in with the Hellions first. Oh, no! He loses this one. No cancel there from Dreadlord. And, oh. So, that's important. It looks... Normally you are maybe like, oh, should I scan for two or three creep tumors? Is this even worth it? Early in the beginning, it's so worth it. Do it. Do it. It's, it's worth it. Like like crazy, do it, yeah. Because I would say the creep is depending on the player expanding exponential, exponential, exponential. I guess it's uh, it should be exponential, and the earlier you can push it down again, the better it is. Because if you lose control over the creep spread, then you lose control over the entire game. That's it. And I see those roaches. Ooh, those aliens! Ooh, nice shot there. And where's the banshee? I have to go back? I guess. Um, what are the. No, he's going for more roaches. Okay, but there's a banshee. Mm, he's just A moving. Won't get anything there. Yeah, okay, he can attack the supply depot. Will maybe get it? Ooh, so close. Target fires the SCV. But there's another one, which will go down right now, so I guess he could break through. Uh, he droned up a little bit, so... Uh, but there are no upgrades for him. Yeah, the supply depot goes down. Oh, nice. Killed another one. Hmm, yeah, income wise it's looking okay. So both players are fine, I would say. I really need to close this wall, because there are more roaches coming. Um, one thing is, Dreadlord. Sla he, he slept a bit, and his evolution chambers are late, so his upgrades are late as well. At least later than mine, and this Benji is attacking again those roaches. But he can't tackle this third, if he wants to. For now he's just trying to deal damage here, but I guess it's not really working. I should can- Oh, that was a good cancel! At the last second, but I just got some Marines there, SCVs, Hellions are not the best force to to battle these roaches, but with the Banshee. I don't like it that he's wasting so many roaches. I mean, he's buying himself time, but for what? I assume for the Spire and the Mutalist, so he can get drop defense on its way, but... Uh, I don't know, he, he wasted a lot of roaches there, and that's... Uh, I don't like that. Not really. So there are the barracks floating around now. And I got a fourth command center, so that will boost my income and my economy like crazy. But yeah, I, I can't... I, I could have... I could have done that, because... I could, I could, I could do that, because um, there are no neutralists yet. I don't know about that, but because of all those roaches, I got the minerals, because uh, reactors not finishing, I had to pop out units instead of getting the reactors and stuff. So I had the overmints, and why not just throw down a fourth command center? If you can't do it, do it. It's fine. Uh, one thing is, command uh, combat shields are so late, and that's not good. Also, the armory is not in time, so 2-2 is delayed again. Uh, there's a banshee tackling this. A hatchery, but we we will get true away. So I sh I should repair it. In the mid game, this Benji can deal a lot of damage to roaches, circlings, Benjis. It has a good additional DPS source. Uh, yeah, damage source. Okay, there are some circlings. He might go in. Oh, has to be so careful. You can't do that. Oh, nice helmets. Yeah, gets one. N Whoa! Not even one as he went down there. But he pulled out so he's fine. Stimpack is on the way as well as 2-2. Two, two. Burrow. 
You could see world banelings and that's something I see very rarely in Master League. It's even though very rarely played in GM and tournaments. I mean there are some players sometimes they are Oh like, yeah, let's do that. Force out the, the turn a lot of scans. Uh, that that's good. Let's let's have bird bailings all over the place. Two or three, that's fine. And there's a drop coming. Won't be spotted by the circling, but by this overlord. And there's a spine as well as a spore and the queen, so you should be fine. Mm, the timing is off. So I'm attacking before 2-2 is finished. Mm, I will get some clear uh, some uh, I will be able to clear some creep there. There is a counter-attack. Ooh, that counter-attack could do a lot of damage. But at the same time. Oh nice nice pick up there. Yeah, there is Oh Hmm. Not too many SCVs died there. We got 14 to 27 died there and he wasn't able to to deal a lot of damage. He's racing those circlings. Uh, now I have to pick up. Pick up! Uh, oh, that was... No, I lost the Marauder. That's sad. Uh, with a mine. Ooh, with a mine. That's nice. Ah, I wasn't able to pick up the Marauder. I wanted to be fancy here, but I didn't get it. Nice Burrow circling here. So two, two finishes. And he got just two, one. There's a small window where I got the way better upgrades, then there's a large window where I got a slight advantage. Um, income wise. Oh, that widow mine. Ooh. Income wise, I'm fine. And army supply wise, it's not looking too good for me. That widow mine, man. That widow mine. He's morphing banelings. Oh, that widow mine. That could be so difficult for him. Not the best shot, but a good one. A good one. So, he never went. Oh, look at those turrets. So, he can't go in with mutalists now. No chance. Even though he got like 21, it's not a good thing to run into 6 or 5 turrets there. Ooh, friendly fire with mine. Okay, there's a tech lab. Um, he's supply cap, so he needs more overlords. His upgrades aren't the best. He's on 2 1. And 3-3 three, three is on the way for me, so Dreadlord, he got the money, why isn't he getting his upgrades? Ah, uh, I don't like that. That's really bad for him. He needs those upgrades, man. And he should maybe just throw down a hatchery at the gold base, because why not? Okay, he now knows that I'm... Uh, I can't land there, it's not possible. So the game slowed down a little. Oh, Mutalis! That's nice. That's nice. He just waited for exactly that. And five Marines. Oh no, I was able to save it. Okay, so he pulls back. I scan, see that one. Mm, two, two against you, one Mutalis. He's getting plus two third crown carapace now, but yeah, I'm able to get this base. Oh no, he's attacking again. He's so nasty, na uh, na nasty and pesky with those Mutalis. Ooh. Oh, carefully, you can't go in there. That's not a good thing. He could kill 3-3. Three, three. And again, I'm losing the E-Base. Ah, that feels so bad. So with the counter-attacks, he's buying himself the time he needs and, yeah, denied. So, no 3-3 three, three for me. That's really good for him. I'm Supply Cat. And those Mutalists are in a phenomenal spot to be annoying. Really good spot there, and he could go with a circling attack at the fourth, but he pulls back now. He could have gotten in and maybe sniped the armory or something like that, that would have been huge. And now he pulls back, um, I'm not getting the ebays, I'm supply kept. Okay, throwing down the extra supply, I need those ebays, come on! There we go. Ha! <laughs> Not the best position, but it's fine. Those turrets are in a bad spot. I should maybe get four or three more. I got the gas, uh, the minerals, the income, the uh, the bank. Oh, it looks like we will see another engagement. There are a lot of marauder. Look at that, like like 40 marauder to tank all those banelings, but they are at the right hand side by the banelings. Oh, he got a lot of banes there. 32, and just four widow mines. 
Ten Widowmines. Where is the rest of those Widowmines, I wonder? Oh, he's clearing those Widowmines. But there's a Thor. Mm, that was a good shot. Carefully there. Where are the other Widowmines? Oh, they're at home. Okay, I got it. And some Banelings are buried there. Mm, he definitely should get a fourth, uh, fifth space. There's a counter attack. I see it. Will I react to it? Yeah, I will. But not with the entire army. Holy, no, don't do that. Yeah. Wait, what's that? Okay, I'm going back with almost all my army. And just be annoying right here. Uh, oh, he's facing a lot of mailings for nothing. That's good for me. He will lose all those circlings for nothing. Income wise, I'm looking very good. I got. Yeah, it's, it's looking great for me. And I got 3 3. And he ha hasn't hive ready yet. Oh, that bit of mine was a good shot there. Funny thing, drilling gloss not even ready yet. Oh, those banes are crushing into those marauder. Ooh, those are clumped. That was too good, but all left is oh the Thor. Oh, he dropped heavily in supply there. Unit lost tip shows it, and now he has to face the risk of a huge counter attack. The Ooh! Ah! Oh! I can't feel the pain for all Zerg player out there, but. That StarCraft 2, sorry, deal with it. It's not overpowered. It isn't. It's very, very, very strong sometimes, but on the other hand, it's a very. It's a double edged, -edged sword, so. And ba Burr Banelings can be a pain in the ass as well. And Ultralis and, and Mutalis and stuff. It's, it's it's like it is. I don't think. I don't say it's good, but if you play StarCraft 2, deal with. Oh, the Venomines! The friendly fire! But now the Marines are coming in! And they show away those Mutalis, and he loses the fourth base. Has never taken the gold base there, so no banes left. Uh, that's close. Have to pull back, but uh, he needs an overseer. He got no overseer, and this circling is at the perfect spot. So the splash damage. Okay. What is he doing now? Okay, going for 3-3 three, three and Adrenal Glad. Oh, carefully! Uh, I guess that's it. Look at the supply. The army supply tells us the story of that game as well as the unit lost tab. Yeah, a lot of units lost there. No, that's, that's GG. He can't do anything. I guess you will see the GG very shortly. There's the mana mule because he's not leaving. Sometimes I do that if I feel like go out already. No GG. And that's it. GG. <laughs> okay. Ah, good game. I like the, the 10 pool for the reason to kill the reactor. I didn't like the late upgrades. I like that he cancelled the 3-3. Three, three. I didn't like that he was never t that he never took the fifth base, the goal. Uh, the world banelings were at a nice spot, but wasn't weren't helping too much. Yeah, difficult, but a good game, I would say. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see us hopefully next time again. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye.